Greetings and salutations, I'm Kev. Welcome back to this Let's Play of Caesar 3. Here we are on... What was it again? Lugdunum? Completely forgotten. It is a new session for me, so... It'll take a while for me for, to get my bearings again. Yeah, Lugdunum. And we have this incredibly difficult landscape to deal with. I mean, all the farmland is basically up on that plateau. And that plateau is blocked by natives. I don't know how they react if I just made a road through. I'd assume they would be mad. So, for now we're just settling on the... We're keeping the city growing from this little farmstead. Uh, the missionary is running around here, and I believe he is impacting the natives. Do I need more than one, maybe? I might... Let's see. Uh, overlays. That's uh, on risks. Risks for natives. Yeah, he's doing a good job on this side, but he has completely ignored the ones over here. Um, so, let's plop down another mission post. I don't know. Might need to. And yeah, we are desperately short of workers, and we were trying to create some kind of a fiscal balance here. Uh, yeah. That's gonna take a while, I think. We need more workshops, we need more pottery stuffs. Okay, you want meat. Yeah, that's kind of bad for me. Uh, how do we solve that? Um, I guess we'll have to create a storehouse. Out here that only accepts. Unless I can dispatch straight out of my granaries. No. Need to get it from the warehouses, unfortunately. Uh, so, this will accept nothing. Ah. Except meat. And I'll even put it to get goods. There we go. Because they would, I assume, always go into the granaries rather than deposit them up here. So now, though, do I have... Yeah, they'd still go to the granaries first. Ugh. Well, that's kind of bad. I'll see if that can sort itself out, I don't know. Still, the main problem remains to feed the populace in here. While keeping an eye on our budget, because we have so little money. Trying to sell weapons. That seems to be our best money maker right now, at least. Didn't the cart go through? Oh, right! I have another granary over there. Haha. <laughs> completely forgot I built that one. So I have two granaries that are basically trying to haul as much food as possible back. I and mean, this one's full. Citizen, this place needs more workers. Yes, I know. Okay, this can still store more goods, unfortunately. And it doesn't look like the warehouse is able to take goods out of the granary. Um, okay, so I'll have to set you to empty. Yeah, okay, fine, special orders. You don't care about meat. You don't care about meat. And finally, this one has to be empty. Ah. Hmm. That could be a risk. Let's do that for now. Now at least all the new uh, meat will have to be delivered to this warehouse. And that'll hold, hopefully suffice so we can actually fulfill Caesar's orders here. Let's see where he goes. No granaries currently accept meat, so I ex expect him to go over there. 
Yeah, good. Now it's going there. Good. Then we're gonna fulfill that order and I'm gonna reset the gravities afterwards. Okay, you're actually complaining about the gate house. So if I make some gardens, will that suffice? No, we still need the pottery. We are producing pottery. Sort of. Oh dear. You know what, there really is some weird crap going on with the music in this game. See what I mean? It takes so little for it to suddenly go on an endless loop. I don't know what triggers it, but... And that's why I dis I'm going to disable it for now, at least. <laughs> and I just clicked... Uh, this time I just clicked on this pottery house and all of a sudden it reset. I started looping. Ugh. Could be that it's some background process of mine that ruin, ruins things. Might have to check that too. But still, rather vexing. Uh, yeah, you guys want more plants, I suspect. There we go. And you filled it. Why? There we go. Finally, some pottery got delivered. I'm not gonna do anything and. <laughs> I'm not gonna move on to the next level until I've got the workers for it. Oh yeah, and we should probably hold the festival. Um, two gods that are indifferent, that's not good. Actually, everything in this is a sound loop. I can hear the background audio too. Background chatter. Yeah, there is something funky going on, but oh well. No matter. Let's see, that's six slabs of meat so far. We're gonna have trouble feeding this town unless we can somehow cross up to this upper plateau. And even then, we'll have a bit of an issue. Okay, now we have two missionaries. They should both be fighting down um, this risk of natives. Yeah, they actually suffice. Now they don't seem to care. Well, they do care up out there, but that's okay because that isn't connected by road. Well, these are pacified. Which means I could probably start farming this area. Probably. Of course I have to have to afford the bridges and all that fun stuff. At least we're making a bit of money now. And hopefully we'll have enough workers. So we can expand our industries. Uh, just need one more meat to satisfy Caesar. But we need a lot more food to satisfy the populace. So how are we doing? Unemployment of 2%. Good, then we're gonna start two more little drops. Unemployment, right? Yeah. I knew that fanfare would come. And I believe we have enough to fulfill Caesar's request. Good. Now we're gonna shift this around. No accepting anything. You're gonna accept meat, there we go. And I have to go to the other warehouses. And tell them to get meat. If they're able. 
There we go. Everything a okay. Sort of. Um, yeah, now he's emptying that, that's fine. Probably should try to expand my uh, pottery production here. Um, Expand this way. See if we can fix that. Wait a second, we've been building ship bridges, but have we seen any debris? I mean, there's no debris on this side. Also, debris in this river? I can't even access it. So, we can't actually build docks. Or rather, they can't actually connect anywhere. Because there's no ocean, actually, uh, no, no actual trade connection. Oh, no. Okay, so I could have gone with the cheap bridges. No, uh, no, no big deal. Okay, so the emperor was happy. And uh, we're short of 20 people? Yeah, I know. Wait, did you say no food stored? Yeah, um... We're gonna have to deal with that. We're gonna have to try to get some kind of food production going up here. So, let's see, where do we want to cross? We're gonna assume that the natives are now... Uh, basically... Quelled, let's see, risks, natives... These guys still protest as a problem, but as long as they don't build on that stuff... They should not complain. I don't know if I can delete their roads or do anything uh, over there, but uh, we'll see. We can build bridges over here or over there. We are going to need to create at least a one house area over here on this side at some point. Um, let's build one here. Remove that. Uh, yeah, create another. Oh. These shrubs are difficult to see. There we go. There we go. Perfect. And here... Yeah, we'll sort the road out later. For now, I just want the connection. This upper area is a bit more difficult. As you can see, there are tons of wolves here. And wolves are bad. And mean. They'll kill you. Let's see. Yeah, yeah, I hear you, Coyote. Where do we even start? Start there, maybe. Um, can you cross that one? You can't. So I need to have a road down that way. Okay, for now that like that. You will need some homes. And it sounds like someone got murdered by a wolf. Yeah, how do I squeeze in homes and all that kind of fun stuff here? Can I have one little hamlet there? One over there. An engineer's post and a prefecture. Oh! Ah! Someone's definitely being murdered. Oh, of course, because we oh. built that bridge and all of a sudden the wolves can... <laughs> Oops. Uh, yeah. I forgot about that. Uh, 
Yeah, wolves are bad, okay? <laughs> yeah. This is, yeah, maybe I shouldn't have gone with a wolf opening there. Um, they are gonna die eventually. I mean, the prefects are gonna go and slay the wolves. Eventually. But before then, they're gonna murder everybody. Um... If I pull that tower, I need to pull the tower on top of a wall. Ugh, I really should have done this before I'm building that bridge, but I will. Whoops. Um, I think I need four walls in order to create a tower. And other than that, I'm just going to build several prefects as a stopgap measure. There we go, now at least one wolf died. And I need to do this because this is the middle of my farming area, so if the prefects don't slay all these wolves... Barracks as well. Mm. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna lose quite a few people before we deal with these wolves. Oh no. Well, um, these buildings are probably gonna collapse before <laughs> anyone moves there. And. Okay, so now they're starting, tra starting to trade with us, that's good. Yeah, the wolves are gonna die eventually. But that's gonna take a while. Hopefully the city won't start completely before that, ha that happens. But it's certainly a risk, because right now... We <laughs> can't produce good sufficiently here. And I mean, they're gonna kill all the uh, cartmen as well, so that really sets us back. There we go. The Ballista Tower is fully defended. But there are still tons and tons of wolves around, so... Probably should try. Build another tower. This one's certainly firing up the wolves. I need the gatehouse to actually keep them out. A full legion will be even, would be even better, but yeah, well, we'll see what it can manage. Um, yeah, finally, finally. Oh, look, look, they're both cartmen are getting actually get, actually getting the food out. I don't think we have. Wolves on this side. Certainly hope not. So hopefully the town will get food. Before this wolf pack attacks. And hopefully we'll get some migrants to those homes. At some point. Of course they have to survive the wolves. <laughs> they have that long trek, and they have to survive the wolves. And I don't see any immigrants coming in. Do you see, do you see a merchant somewhere here? There he is. Did you buy something from me? I won't even tell. You don't have the conversation options. Pity. 
Definitely sounds like the wolves are eating again. So the idea here basically, the prefects will engage the wolves. They aren't strong enough, but they'll certainly try. But they'll also keep them in place, and that means the tower gets a chance to shoot them before they're on out of range. So, I have my reasons for this strange setup. I do wonder, if I build a hamlet next to one of these guys, without fire protection, will the fire spread and burn down the native huts? I mean, I can't delete them. So, <laughs> I'm just more curious if the fire can destroy them. Let's test that. Let's build a home there. Home that will most definitely burn at some point. Still no immigrants. We might actually not get immigrants simply because we don't have enough food in the city. Well, there they are, finally. And in the meantime, the city is out of food. Arrgh. Yeah, this is gonna be a problem. Come on, ma market people. There is food. I just have to go and fetch it. There we go. Then I just have to invest heavily in food production. I don't recall if these wolf packs replenish. If they do, we might just have to create... You know what? Let's do that. Um, I want to create an actual protection mechanism here. Just want to see if they will run through walls. I mean, barbarians and other enemies, they would attack the wall and get through that way. Or the gatehouse. I don't know if the wolves can do that. So I want to see. And I might have to do the same thing on this side. Build an actual gatehouse. And protect the entrance. Though I don't know if I can over here. <laughs> finally! So, they finally moved in and that's when things started collapsing. Awesome. Well, still better that they, that they collapse than that they burn. But now these will have access to labor. Including the tower, hopefully. And that means I... Okay, there's still one wolf here. Die, Wolfie. There you go, you're dead. No collapsed buildings. That they collapse and that they burn, so. I think this inner area is safe now. Which means I don't need all these prefectures. So let's see, there are still a few wolves out here. No, that's empty land. Okay, never mind. Some wolves there. And I honestly don't know if they replenish 
And if they do, if they always spawn on the same same spot. Because if they do, we could actually wall, wall in the spawn spot. And basically contain them that way. I don't know. Or rather, I don't remember. I mean, look here. Lots of wolves there. Tempted to try, we'll see. If they become a real nuisance for our food exports, we might have to do that. But for now, I think the setup is fine. Okay, now we're at least producing food. Uh, these warehouses are trying to drag food into the city proper. But clearly they're not very enough food. And we're still, yeah, we shot way too many employees. I'll have to build out here. I think. And that's going to be a challenge. Oh, and I've completely forgotten about the festivals. Uh oh. I think I have a very angry goddess. Oh, yeah. She's displeased. The others aren't too happy either. Okay. Um. <laughs> Yeah, we're gonna have to build here. But what to do with these wolves? First though, let's just clear terrain. Um, let's try. I have no idea if this works. <laughs> I have no idea if that's gonna work. But uh, I'm going to try. Just for funsies. Um, yeah, we're going to need to build a road here. There is a lot of terrain in the way. Um, so it's probably going to be a bit of a bunched neighborhood. How am I going to solve this? Huh? Since I can't build across that wolf terrain. Um, up here maybe. And if I can, let's see, one, two, three. Yeah, I have to have a very narrow block over there. I suppose I could, like, loop it around a bit. Something like that. Cut away the old scenarios there. Yeah, one, two, three, six. Now let's try to cut across here. Uh, yeah, there we go. Couldn't uh, couldn't placate her in time. Venus is fickle. And like so, and we want the gatehouse. Structure thingy bob, there we go, perfect. And now we just try to set up some homes. Of course, we are going to need to drag in some water and stuff in here. And we'll get that done at some point. Yes, I know we eat more than we produce, but I kind of need people to staff everything. I'm not going to build anything there until people arrive. And then we're going to build more granaries and more farms and hopefully uh, change around our uh, production status. Okay, so we have some wolves denned in there. I think there are more, but I haven't heard any lately. Oh, there's one there. A lone wolf. There's the rest of the pack. Okay, so there is a full pack. Another full pack, and I assume that they replenish. So I guess we just have to track them until they settle down on their spawn spot, because I like these guys seem to have done. And the wall seems to be working for now. So much food needed. Ugh. Uh, 
At least we have a proper balance now. We are making money, sort of. I mean, we are exporting... Still just the... Uh, weapons. But I do think that the uh, natives also go and buy stuff now. Not quite sure. Everything there seems fine now. Yeah, festival. We're still preparing the festival for the god that got mad at us. Ugh. Can't please any of them, huh? Okay. I think... <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Now she should be happy. Okay, I think I'm gonna take a short break here. We'll see if we can maybe get our food production and stuff in order next time. Thank you for watching.